and welcome back to the channel. I'm Clifton3D and today we're going to be talking about The Batman Part 2. I will be honest, I did go and see the movie in the theater. When it came out, I thought it was pretty damn awesome. I, I mean, I had my gripes here and there, but overall, I really thought the movie was good. So, that being said, I am kind of looking forward to Part 2. Now, there's a rumor going around. Let's get into this article now. Right, fun times. So you have no idea what happened, but I have recorded the <laughs> recorded recorded this part of the video twice already. The first time I hit started streaming instead of start recording. The second time I hit recording, but apparently the button didn't accept my click. So, oh boy, here I am for a third time. I... Ooh, come on. Calm down. Calm down. So, I believe I have said three times in a row now that I am a fan of Joel Edgerton. I liked him in the prequels of Star Wars. I thought his character in the Reva show was all right, but everything around it was just bullcrap, and we all know that. I don't know who Josh Hartnett is. I'm not off the bat. Anyway, let's get into this article for, for me a third time, for you the first time. Let's get into it. So, rumor Joel Edgerton and Josh Hartnett up for Harvey Dent Two Face in the Batman part. Too. Although we know very little about what Matt Reeves was in, has in store for us in the Batman Part 2 except to continue the story, rumors are running wild as to who he's setting up to be the villain. The latest speculations indicates he may take a page out of Christopher Nolan's playbook for sequels and anoint Two-Face as the next foe to beat. What's more, Reeves may have narrowed down his top choices for Harvey Dent, according to John Rocha of the Hot Mike Podcast. The next man to play Big Bad Harvey, Two-Face, might either be Josh Hartnett or Joel Edgerton. Rocha's co-host Jeff Snyder hadn't heard anything from about this from his sources, so he's skeptical about, about it. But it's out now, so... Remember, take all of this with a grain of salt. I know I've talked about so many things in between this article and the other. I, boom, it's gone. These are momentary thoughts, so... Damn. These choices are very intriguing in their own right, as both have ties to the role of the Dark Knight. As a favorite choice of the director, Hartnett, was a heartbeat away from playing Bruce Wayne in Nolan's trilogy. He passed to leave his stamp on comic book cinema in Sin City and 30 Days of Night before taking on smaller, less visible projects. And I'll be perfectly honest, I have not watched Sin City and I have not watched 30 Days of Night. I probably should at some point. Are they any good? Let me know down in the comments below. Whereas this could be an opportunity for redemption for Hartnett, Edgerton may see a choice to take on a deeply challenging role to increase his growing profile within the genre of major IPs like Star Wars. Now, I do remember saying Star Wars is no longer a major IP. Just look at it. Nobody watches it. Nobody cares about it. And all we want is for Disney to give it up. Star Wars is no longer a major IP. I know that at the beginning of this part of the clip, I said that I like him. I thought his role in Star Wars was great. I even liked it in the Reva show. That being said, everything else around Reva was bullcrap and it was shit. Nobody cared about it. He has already worked with Christian Bale in Exodus, Gods and Kings as well. So, inheriting... Two-Face isn't beyond the pale of connection. As is the case with Dent, things might boil down to chance. We have heard rumors over the last couple of years that Reeves may have considered Hush and Two-Face as villains for his sequels. 
it was also alleged that Dent would be introduced in Part 2 and become his dual personality in Part 3. Could be. These rumors are not confirmed, but given Reeves and DC's affinity for Long Halloween, they might come true. Harvey stated started his, that miniseries as a mild-mannered attorney, but didn't finish with his face or his sanity intact. Adding the returns of Riddler, Penguin, Catwoman, and Barry Conan's Joker makes the circle complete. Now, I am looking forward to this. I, I saw the movie. I was out on vacation, three-day weekend in a big city in Germany, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to go to the movie theater and watch this movie. Luckily, the movie theater had movies in English. Ah, awesome. I loved the movie. I thought it was pretty good. Yes, I have my gripes here and there about a few things. I'm not going to get into it, but I did enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to this. Harvey... Dent is a great character. I'm looking forward to seeing him. If it's not him, if it's Hush or any other character, I'm excited to see what they do. I hope they give this movie a great, great story. It will come out in October 25, so we still have some time. I'm sure we are going to get more information as time goes by. We will find out. Who is going to be the villain? We were going to find out who is going to be acting. And I hope that we get some trailers dropping. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to reviewing those with you. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what do you think. Who would be your choice for Two-Face? Let me know. Hey, and if you don't like it and you want to comment, let me know about that too. Even use emojis to let me know how you're feeling about it. Hey. If you like this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and hitting the bell for notifications. Alright, until next time, take care.